Hey everyone, welcome back to a quick little video that I wanted to make uh, just how to install the Fab plugin and get that into your project and make it a little bit easier to um, quickly add in the assets and also how to um, sort by Quixel assets and find those a little bit easier. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing that I would recommend everyone does if you haven't already done it yet, be sure to go to fab.com, log in with your account, and scroll down about halfway here and um, click on Claim Now to get all of the mega scans for free. Uh, this is only going to be available through the end of this year, through the end of 2024. After that, um, Quixel mega scans are not going to be free anymore. Um, but as long as you click on Claim Now under your account, you will have access to all. I think it's like 14,000 of the mega scans. So be sure to do that. Um, then the next thing is we want to go up to our Epic Launcher. And you want to go down to your Fab library here and search for Fab. And you will find this Fab UE plugin. If you don't see this, um, be sure to update the um, launcher or you might just need to restart. Um, but once you do that, you should be able to find this. So click on install to engine, and it's going to ask you which version you would like to install it to. Uh, I don't know why it lists 5.3, 5.5, and then 5.4. It's kind of weird. Um, but these are the only three versions that are available. So if you're on an earlier version, um, unfortunately, the Fab plugin is not working for those. So you need to make sure that you're on 5.3, 4, or 5, or above. Um, so I'm going to select 5.5 since that's the newest one. Click on install. And then we just wait for this to um, download and go ahead and install. Should be pretty quick. And once that is installed to the engine, you can just go ahead and open up a project uh, to check it out. Just make sure that you're opening up a project that is the same version that you installed it to. So once we get into our project here, we can go up to Window, and you will find the Fab plugin here that will open up. And um, it opens up in a tab here. You don't have to do that. You can drag this out. You can put it on a second monitor. You could even dock it to you know somewhere down here if you wanted to. Might not give you a lot of room, but you have a lot of flexibility on how you can use that. For right now, I'll just dock it up there. The first thing that you want to make sure that you do is log in with your Epic Details. So if you're not already, uh, click on this icon right here. And if you're not logged in, it will launch your default browser and ask you to enter in your details for the Epic Launcher. And once you get logged in, then you will have access to um, the store, of course, but then you will also have access to your library. So if you go over to library here, these are all of the assets that you have purchased or uh, gotten for free through the previous Ep uh, Epic Marketplace. And you can um, quickly add any of these to your uh, projects just by going to the uh, asset here, clicking Add to Project, and some of these will have a agreement that you have to uh, accept. And now this will um, sometimes happen. This probably will happen a lot since I'm on a brand new version of 5.5, but this has just not been tested or certified by the seller um, to make sure that it works with uh, the current version of 5.5. Um, but what you can do is if you do run into this, uh, most of the times you can just select a previous um, version and go ahead and add it to your project without any issue. Now you do have to be careful with that. If it is something that is like a blueprint heavy asset, um, there might be issues that you might run into. But for the most part, if it's just something like uh, 3D meshes or textures or animations or things like that, then you shouldn't run into any issues. Um, and then of course, when it finishes, it will Put a new folder in your content drawer where you will have um, all of your assets that you just installed. Now, the other thing that you'll probably want to know is how to get access to the Quixel Mega Scans. 
And unfortunately, there's not a really great way to do this. It's a little quirky. Um, I really wish Epic would just give us like maybe over here, just a Quixel tab that we could just uh, open up really quick. But what I found the quickest and easiest way to do this is just to type in Quixel and just find one of the Quixel mega scans. It can be any of them, click on it. And then if you just go up here to Quixel, um, and if you select that, it, it will then kind of filter um, only the Quixel mega scans. And so then we can see that we can just quickly see all of the mega scans that we have. And if I drag this out here, the cool thing about this is you can just take these and simply drag this into your scene and it will download this in real time and put the um, asset in your project like that. So um, just kind of skips a step instead of having to download it and then um, you know go into your content drawer, find it and drag it in there like so. So you can do that with pretty much anything. Just drag it in and there you go. All right. So that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Again, I really hope Epic will, um, you know, make this a little bit easier, realizing that so many people do use Quixel uh, mega scans and Quixel assets. I would hope that they will kind of make this a little bit more user friendly, but it's not too bad. It's just a little quirky how you have to do that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to let me know. Uh, be sure to check out Patreon and leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care, guys.